mic anything. Am I on? It says I'm live, but I feel alive. I'm waving back and forth a little bit. Hello, pretty people. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, we're up and going. Everybody, all six of us. <laughs> You guys crack me up. Why is it so cool to be socially late to these things, man? Da, da, da. All right, let's see who's on for starters. Who, where can I click to see who's on? Ron Lama. Hey, Ron. Good to see you, man. Hey, Blue Lantern. Good to see you. William Jeske. Am I six or seven? You're six. I don't know. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So, I'll tell you what. I'll make a more official announcement later today, but uh, Tolowit, I got a proposition for you. Send me an email, will you? Uh, I'm using. A, I need a little help on the side. It will not be paid at first, but it will probably move to that really quick. Uh, let me see what I can do on my end. But I need just tiny amount of help. So I thought I'd ask some of you old geezers first. Uh, Blue Lantern, you've been here enough. You're, you're included in this group. If you're interested in doing a little bit of marketing work for me, and when I say a little bit, I'm talking about 30 minutes a week kind of a thing, send me a text. Uh, basically, uh, we're doing some restructuring. I'll make a big announcement once we get enough people in here. But um, I could use a little help. And uh, just send me an email. Oh, let me if I put my microphone on. Did Dave not yell at me? <laughs> I'm just going to do it this way. I got my Tikakis shirt on. I'm feeling really tikakis -y. Again, guys, we're stalling here for a minute as uh, people start crawling in. Dave yelled on the back channel. Oh, I see it's... Uh, you did. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, I'm, I'm check one, check one, check one. Okay, I'm looking much better now. No, I like this is my Takaka shirt. Uh, so I, I didn't like the way it was pitting on there. So I want to be prettier. You know, because when you've got all this going for you, you know, vanity, thy name is Mike Myers. Uh, -up -up. Had an interesting night last night. Uh, yeah, I'm stalling here, guys. Uh, my nephew came over. He's got one semester left of college, and he didn't have enough money. So now he has enough money. So hopefully he's happy with that. Because uh, I'm nice that way. See, if you were related to me, you'd get money. Dave Rush isn't even related to me, and he gets money. Okay, I'm going to stall like two more minutes here, guys. Uh, and then we will make this more official beginning of things. Uh, William Jeske, yep, you are six. Blue Lantern, Tolowit, Richard Reeves. Hey, Richard Reeves, how's it going, man? Uh, Mike, how much for the mic name? Dude, you've got the mic name. I mean, who are you that you have the name Mike? I'll bet your name is really like Mike and then Unprintable Character or something like that. The fact that your YouTube name is Mike is always amazing to me. But you've got the name, dude. <laughs> Ali, how can I be related? Uh, yeah, all my sisters are married. Sorry, man. Uh, once I get my A+, plus, uh, Blue Lantern. Once I get my A+, plus, I think initially I'll have to take a pay cut for my entry-level job. 19 hours now. Your help desk is around 17. Blue Lantern, I don't know where you live, man. Uh, help desk is, you know, 15 to $20 an hour. And uh, the thing you got to remember is your entry-level job is just what gets you in the door. In six months, certainly in a year, you're going to be making more than that. Uh, you know, especially if you do help desk support, which is such a high turnover thing. Uh, you stick to it at all, you'll be the <laughs> manager in six months. All right, so uh, if you get a chance, 
I better not say anything. There was some very interesting news on the uh, CompTIA subreddit on Reddit today. And uh, I think somebody put something up there that was not supposed to be public. So I'll just leave it. I'm not going to spread any noise. I'll let you guys uh, head over to the CompTIA subreddit on reddit.com and read it yourself. Uh, but once I hear it, it'll, it's very interesting news. Not earth shattering. You know, it's in my industry, who's buying out who is always interesting. A lot of training companies getting bought out these days. And uh, so for me, that's kind of like, you know, you ever go to like a, a music concert, right? And invariably the band sings some song about, you know, we're on the road and we're going to the next town. And I'm like, you know what? You guys are making money as a band. So I don't care about, oh, come on, what's that Kiss song? When I get home, girl, I want to wrap myself around you. You know that one? No. Babe, I hear you calling, but I can't come home right now. Yeah, so anyway, that, that whole genre of songs that you always hear being sung by these different musical groups. And I'm always like, you know, I don't care. You know, you're making money, so shut up. And I literally realized that me talking about who's buying who in terms of IT training companies is the exact same thing that I you know, saw. Maybe you guys are like, well, shut up, Mike. We don't care. Let's talk about RAM, you know. It's still interesting to me, though. I am heavily stocked up on Diet Dr. Pepper, the elixir of life, and the place from which many belches shall come. All right. Eh, we're, all right. All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, hello and welcome to the Wednesday edition of the Mike Myers Ask Mike Anything. The reason we do this live stream is that it gives you an opportunity to ask me questions about CompTIA certification, in particular CompTIA A+, Net+, Security+, but we can certainly go into other CompTIA certifications, general technology, and uh, non-CompTIA certs. So anything you want, uh, we can talk about it to some degree. Uh, the, we start at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, and we go till 3 o'clock or until when the questions run out. And with a small crowd like this, it might be a lighter day. So what we do here is you type questions into the chat window, and I answer them for you. It's just that easy. So um, the one big announcement I have to make is that this is going to be the last uh, AMA at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. Starting next Wednesday, we're moving to five hours later. Thank you, Diet Dr. Pepper. And we're going to be moving to 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. I'm going to get it out. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because we don't get nearly enough people in the USA because most people are still at work at 2 o'clock. So by moving it to 7, I'm hoping we can get uh, a, more of a crowd. And uh, I, I want to be able to get to the people who need to get to me. So starting next Wednesday, which is going to be, what date is that? So that's going to be uh, February, January 25th. We will be at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. So Tolowet, that's going to be too late for you probably, but for the rest of us, no, actually that'd probably be good for you, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because Hawaii is like five hours behind, six hours behind Central Standard, I forget. Anyway, but uh, the goal here is so more people in the States can get here. Monday is going to stay at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. No problem. We get a lot of European folks in here, and I recognize that that's a more convenient time for you guys. No problem. We got you covered. So um, that, that's going to start next week. Uh, we did finally get Michael Liebert has agreed to come on. Uh, he's just working with Dave Rush right now to uh, schedule a time. I'm hoping he'll be on for our first Wednesday evening show, but I can't guarantee that yet until Dave confirms with Michael. Uh, Michael was the guy who just finished our last CyberNow Labs cohort, cohort and uh, literally got a job the next day. So that was pretty exciting. And, uh, and we're going to have him on to talk about that. Uh, we also, who else is coming on? I, I asked uh, another one of our CyberNow Lab al alums. These guys are really hitting it, and uh, I'm excited that these guys are going to be coming on. Guys, I'm telling you, I've been, 
No, uh, no booze, Blue Lantern. This is just pure Texas-style Diet Dr. Pepper. And uh, Edgar Salinas will also be coming on. Um, oh, so Edgar Salinas is going to be on for our first Wednesday evening AMA. Guys, these are folks who have taken the CyberNow Labs program and are working. You know, they pretty much have just graduated and they're working. And uh, I'm telling you guys, this is an amazing program. And I'm going to keep telling you guys, this is an amazing program. And uh, I'm not saying everybody who's listening needs to join CyberNow Labs. But if you're looking to, you know, put the pedal to the metal on your career, it's something to seriously consider. 3 p.m. That works. Okay. Yes, Tolowitz in Hawaii. Ali, Mike, I'm attending your Network Plus course on Udemy, and I can't express to you how much I'm enjoying it. Thank you very much. I tell you, I love teaching Network Plus. As I often joke on here, Network Plus is the most important certification you're never going to need. Now, let me make sure you understand what I'm saying here. You don't see a ton of jobs out there that say Network Plus, uh, but the knowledge you get in Network Plus is so important. It's... It's your last chance to understand networking from a vendor neutral point of view before Microsoft and Cisco and all these other guys get their claws on you and you start doing ching, 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 you know, by a member of their cult, whatever it is. Uh, and I just love teaching Network Plus. It's, it's just so fun. Krampus Dumpling. Hey, Krampus, good to see you again. Hey, Mike. Why does Microsoft Teams give me so such headache? Dude, I am infuriated with Teams. We are, like, I, I work mainly out of my house these days, and we use Teams heavily. Uh, and I cannot, I do not have access to Microsoft Office in my home in any way. And uh, it's because of Teams. So I feel your pain. Uh, Microsoft Teams needs, if you're getting Teams, you better be in an enterprise environment with full-time serious support staff because I literally cannot get Office to work. I can't open a spreadsheet. I'm reduced to using Google Documents right now. Ali, that's right. You're, I forgot you're in Algeria, man. Yeah, well, you know, do keep in mind. So the... the uh, the goal here, so you guys understand what the plan is, is that the 2 o'clock Monday show is going to stay pretty much like this. It's going to be more spontaneous, smaller crowds, but I'm going to start trying to hit a bigger market. I've just never really cared. You know, for me, this AMA is almost like a group of friends. Uh, I don't need huge audiences here. I need to be able to be available for people who are studying who need to be able to have questions answered. And uh, I've been doing that for two years now. It's been great. But I think it's time for me to start morphing things. And I know if you guys have been listening on this channel at all, you know I've been talking about this like forever. Uh, but I think it's time to uh, eventually, it's, it's not going to happen quickly, but it'll be over a couple of months. So many of these topics that come in and then I'm going to say I'm going to do it and I you often don't have time. This is going to make me have time where I can get into topics. They're going to be very subject-based. I'm not saying everyone is, but uh, Monday's always going to be more open format, and the goal is to make Wednesdays to be more subject-based, uh, pre-recorded eventually is, is the goal. And so that is going to morph out of being a live stream and more into a just a presentation kind of thing. I've also been thinking about maybe, and I, I'm, I'm, I'd love to hear your guys' ideas on this, especially when we got the inner sanctum here. Uh, but I've been tempted to do have a pre-made presentation and then pop in for a Q&A at the end is the other thing I've been thinking about. So we're still kind of toying with some ideas here. Uh, but uh, it's going to make life a lot easier in terms of marketing for uh, National Cyber Group, CyberNow Labs. And it should make more interesting topics where people can do a search and go, okay, Mike's talking about DNS. Mike's talking about secure DNS. Mike's talking about, you know other kinds of DNS, so, or whatever it might be. So we'll see. Uh, and I'm very much interested in input.
Farhan far, far Alice. Oh, he's the lead. Okay. All right. So uh, anyway, guys, um, I need to get some questions from you all here. <laughs> it's like I feel like I'm at one of those uh, uh, public television stations. Like uh, we need all the lines are all waiting. Somebody needs to call in. Uh, the other thing I'm doing right now is I'm going to be redesigning the stage here a little bit. The basic background is going to stay the same, but you guys can't see, but I've already started making some changes around here. And the idea is to, we're going to, you know, tighten the lightning up a little bit, make it a bit more of a dynamic stage so I can move around a little bit more. Something that's more cameraman friendly as opposed to the static camera we've been using now for a while. And, uh, and uh, we're well on our way to getting that to happen. So it's pretty exciting. Um, <laughs> I've got to punch down some Cat 6A, and I'm trying to find my networking tools. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you guys. Can you see that in the camera? All right, so you see this seam right here. These are mirrors. And then you see this seam right here, right at the edge of the camera. I think you can barely see it. There's another seam right at the top of that. A decade ago, I installed electrical power and I installed RJ45. And the idea was that I was gonna put home theater or something like that up there. And uh, so uh, I never did. But to set this studio up, I'm literally running cables through my living room. And uh, I'm kind of tired of living in the mess. So we're, we're restructuring all this and we're making things pretty. I never actually wired up. I've got the cable run but I never put it into the punch down, and I'll be doing that well, probably after we're done talking today. Um, so anytime you guys hit, I stop talking and I'm looking this way, so I'm reading questions. Farnham, hello, Prof. I will get my associate degree in, com in computer networking and cybersecurity in the summer. Okay. Do you think I can get a job? Yes, you can. Uh, do I have to get some certification like Security Plus? Well, Farnham, for me, the big thing when you're going to get a double A degree, the community college or tech school or whatever you're going with that double A, they should be really helping you with placement. Uh, a community college that doesn't have a strong placement program is of little interest to me. Most of the time, a community college establishes a program, well, this is the whole idea of why community colleges came into existence in the first place, was that it was to serve the community. <laughs> wow, I almost had a serious faux pas there. Um, okay, don't drink fizzy drinks while you're doing a live stream. Okay, got it. Um, so the community colleges, when they were invented back in the 50s, I think, 60s, I don't know, uh, the idea was that it would be a small college which would, A, act as a feeder college towards four-year degrees. Uh, secondarily, uh, it would be working with industry, local industry, to provide people who have the training necessary to do whatever the local community needs. And uh, that's what would get people to come. A lot of community colleges don't do that. Most tech schools still do. Uh, community colleges today are... It, did you guys know that something like over 1,000 uh, colleges, four-year four -year schools, have closed uh, in the United States alone uh, since like 2012 or something like that? It's the, the number of schools is, is disappearing very, very rapidly. A lot of times the schools don't actually close, they get absorbed into other schools, but a lot of them are just closed. And uh, I think part of the problem is, is so many uh, community colleges and tech schools don't address placement. They don't address placement. Like here in Houston, Texas, we have a very thriving oil industry. And if you go to a community college here in the Houston area, for the most part, uh, they do a good job of working with local industries in order to help people get jobs. So placement is absolutely critical. Uh, I'm not saying your community colleges do that, but I think that's a very important thing. I may be going on too long. Well, Don, you missed all the fun. 
Um, but uh, so far, I don't say thanks yet. I haven't even finished answering your question all the way. Um, so that they should help you. I'm surprised that you're not getting certifications within the school itself, uh, which is so common today. Um, certifications help you get work. If you were going to say to me, Mike, what's the number one thing that's most guaranteed to get me a job today? I would say a good STEM four-year degree. Okay, well, Mike, I don't have a college degree. What else is there? A good double A from a good program would be my second choice. Cer certificates are something that you've already decided to get into the industry. So a certificate is really there just to help you with your next job. That's the whole idea behind certificates is you're, you're taking some certification in order to get your next job. And that's why so many people do like A plus as a beginning certification. And that helps them get in the door, help desk and little different things like that. But it's really important that you have good job placement. And I would be, literally it'd be the first thing I would ask if I was thinking about any program. What do you guys do for job placement? Uh, Using that as a nice segue, somebody said, Mike, what is CyberNow Labs? Well, my company, Total Seminar, was, was bought out by a group called National Cyber Group last year. So I actually don't even work for Total Seminars anymore. I'm a vice president of marketing for National Cyber Group. National Cyber Group also purchased a company called CyberNow Labs. And uh, CyberNow Labs is, a, a, for the record, guys, I... I had a choice here. If I didn't like this deal a year ago, it wouldn't have happened, okay? I love CyberNow Labs. CyberNow Labs is simply a, they call them boot camps, but I don't know how anything that takes six months can be called a boot camp. Right? But it, 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 it's a very intense evening and weekend program that you can take at home that uh, accelerates your skill set to become a cybersecurity analysts specializing in SOC or Security Operations Center work. So entry level, there's a lot of different entry levels to get in IT security, but one of the easier ones, one of those smoother ones is to become a SOC analyst. And as a SOC analyst, basically what you're doing is you're using very high-end, super expensive tools to do network monitoring. That's it. So, um, what CyberNow Labs does is they basically have built, not basically, they have built a real functioning SOC. And they take you pretty much from day one and have you actually using and understanding and learning the tools. And their, their tune is they, they used to say, give us six months and we'll give you a hundred, give us six months and we'll give you six figures. Now they're saying about 90,000 is the average entry wage. Oh, darn. Uh, and we have had really good success with this. It is CyberNow Labs, this is not a cheap program. I mean, if you just go by MSRP, it's like 6,800 bucks. There's lots of discounting and all kinds of stuff you can do and all these things. But the bottom line is, is that, uh, <clears throat> you know, this isn't like paying $400 for a Mike Myers program. You know what I mean? So it's not something that you want to get into lightly. You need to have real dedication. You need to have real work ethic. Uh, you, you've, got to, you've got to be a dependable person. You have to have a passion for this. They will handhold you through everything as long as you show them motivation and desire. It shocks me. It shocks me how many people will dump money down on a program like this and not even show up. I'm not kidding. There are people that will pay $6,800, which is re full retail, there's discounts again. Uh, they'll pay that kind of money and they never show up to class. Ever. You know? These people f infuriate me because it's like, say, I want to show that we have like a 90% uh, placement rate. And for the good people, the people who actually work at it, we have this uh, program called the Blue Chip Program where you show up and you get, your, get a Security Plus certification. For those people, uh, at least of all the people I know directly, our placement rate there is close to 100%. Uh, and, and that's why we're having people coming in. Like next Wednesday, we're going to have Edgar Salinas here. He's a recent graduate from CyberNow Labs. 
Uh, he's already working. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. He's got a job. Uh, and uh, so you need to talk to people like that. And, uh, you know, we have info sessions. I'm going to start announcing those. In fact, the next info session, Dave, I need to always announce the next upcoming info session for CyberNow Labs. The next one coming up is uh, January 28th, which is a Saturday? Yeah, so the next info session is January 28th. Uh, Dave Rush, we're, we need to get the information so that people can register for these info sessions and check them out. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm scrambling trying to find the link. Dave, from here on in, we're always going to have, just like we post the Discord channel and the discount pricing, we're going to always post the next info session. You just listen in. It's a one-hour show. Our CEO, Gabe, runs it. He's a great guy, and he gives you the brass tacks, the real details about this stuff, and he doesn't pull any punches. And uh, it is very exciting to see so many people literally transforming their lives in a few months, but you have to be the right person for this. And I, uh, if you're in doubt, you can ask me directly and personally here. Uh, just so you know, my email address is michaelm at totalsem.com. Dave, if you've posted it, can you post it again? If you're interested in the CyberNow Labs program or you just want to get some input, send me an email. I'll talk to you about it and uh, see if it's right for you. I, I, I haven't seen something like this in a long time. Andre wants to do scripting. Actually, I've got a buddy of mine. Andre, is there a particular scripting language you want to do? If you want me to do it, it's probably going to be PowerShell more often than not. So now is it really, really time for folks to upgrade Windows 7 and 8.1? <sighs> Toluit, I know you're joking, but it's actually kind of a serious thing what you're saying. Does anybody remember when we had Windows 8.1 and you could upgrade to Windows 10 for free. Does everybody remember that? And then after about a year or so, it stopped and you couldn't upgrade for free anymore. So we're now starting to get that same kind of pressure from Microsoft. Uh, if you have Windows 10, do you want to upgrade to Windows 11? I'm kind of anti Windows 11, but, well, let me tell you guys a story. Y'all know that I love drinking good wine, really good wine. and. I get into these wine tastings. These aren't, you know, a bunch of people, oh, this is great here, try this Blanche. No, this is like sommeliers and wine people and, and wine buyers and, and, and stuff like that. These are, these are serious wine tasting guys. There's no humor going on here. And this was years and years ago and I was just starting to get into red burgundies. Burgundy is a hard wine to like. Uh, it, it's, it's complicated. You know, when its primary flavor note is barnyard, that's a challenge. And I remember tasting this burgundy and, you know, doing all this stuff. By the way, all that smelling and, and all that, that really has a function once you learn it all. And we're trying this wine, and I sat there, I go, no, I don't like this wine. And like three or four people, they're looking at me, they're like, who cares? Why are you even saying that? We don't care about your opinion on the wine. We need you to know the wine. We need you to understand the wine. We need you to be able to discuss the wine, but keep your damn opinion to yourself. That was a bit of a shocker. That was a bit of a wake-up call. And I'm telling you guys, there's an analogy here with Windows 10 to Windows 11. I don't like Windows 11. Tough, Mike Myers. Are you the alpha geek or not? Know the operating system. We don't care whether you like it or not. We want to make sure you know how to use it and you can configure it. It's still the control panel still working and the weird new UI and you have to log in with the micro. Yeah, know the operating system. That's a hard lesson for me. Um, and one I really need to internalize. You know what? Just because I've said that, I'm upgrading to Windows 11. My Windows 10 system here in the studio is screaming. Uncle Microsoft really doesn't like me still running Windows 10. And I might as well take advantage of the free upgrade and I'll do it like on Wednesday. Wait, today's Wednesday. And then that way, if I need a few days to fix it, I'll have time before the next Monday show. So, Tolwood, I know you were goofing, but you really had brought up a very valid point I think is important. 
And Dave's like, upgrade to Ubuntu. I can't upgrade to Ubuntu because I am, I'm a gamer. Are you going to you know, make me run a VM to try to run a game on Ubuntu or stuff like that? Or I can't do it. I'm, I'm a Windows guy. I run my Ubuntu in a VM. <laughs> All right, I'll get off that one. Yeah, the next, the, the next Cybernet Labs info session is January 28th. Dave, is there any way you can get a link for the upcoming info session? I'm going to ask this question real quick. I'm actually uh, I'm on Slack talking to my marketing department. We'll, we'll get an answer on that one because that, 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 that's a, a good one. So anyway, that is what CyberNow Labs is all about. Uh, we have had success after success after success. I'm also going to tell you, we've, ha we've had a few not successful people. But every not successful person who has spoken to me directly, because I hunt them down. And I'm like, why haven't you got a job? And... Boy, the excuso meter starts rolling, man. It's just like, yeah. Uh, my my my, uh, my dad got sick. Oh, I looked for a few jobs, but I don't want to leave Podunk, Utah. Um, there, the 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 entry level jobs I found were only paying seventy five thousand a year, and in twenty fifteen I was making one hundred and ten thousand a year, and I don't want to take that kind of a cut. I'd rather be unemployed. Mm. You know, just it's stuff like that. Anybody who's got even a modicum of hustle is, is doing great with this program. I'm very excited to be a part of this. All right. <laughs> Lloyd Christmas. You like port, Porto style wine? Okay, that's fine. I like any wine as long as it comes from France or uh, Napa. I'm a... Uh, I get on these kicks. It's not that other wines aren't delicious. I love like a Rioja and stuff like that. I love good Italians, but I get on a kick. You know, there's a certain wine I really just like, and I tend to drink that hard. It's like right now, uh, I'm drinking Napa Chardonnays, um, Silver Oak, Far Niente, uh, are probably my two front runners. And I'm also enjoying Bubbles these days, uh, French. I, I don't. I like all kinds of uh, sh of uh, bubbles as long as it's champagne, not prosecco, not Osti, not Cremant. I like champagne, or at least Methol Traditionnel, and uh, so uh, Veuve Clicquot is probably my favorite champagne right now, either the white or the rosé. So if you want to get me any of that booze, folks, send a send one to Mike Myers. Uh, what games am I playing right now? Lloyd, believe it or not, I have jumped back into World of Warcraft. I'm playing World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King classic mode right now. I'm on the Atesh server, although uh, if people want to start playing again, and Toluid, I'm talking to you, brother, uh, I am prepared to spin up another new character. But if I spin up a new character, I want to play with people. I want to have a set server time, probably have our own guild. And my problem is, I don't know if any of you guys have played World of Warcraft, but World of Warcraft, probably the most fun part of it is all the dungeons and the raids. And you need a minimum of five people. Some of them go up to like 40. Uh, but you can't go in there by yourself. And when you're using these older versions of World of Warcraft, it's not the easiest thing to get into these groups so that you can jump into these instances. And if I'm gonna do this again, and honestly guys, I, if we get five or six of us who actually say yes, I, I'm willing to light this back up. We tried like a year and a half ago and I got I had issues. But uh, World of Warcraft is a, a very fun game. And there's a reason I've been playing it since 
I started playing around 2006, and, and I've been off and on. I'm playing Age of Empires quite a bit. Uh, that's really all I'm playing right now, game-wise. I'm playing some casual games on my phone. Uh, talk me into something. I'm, I'm I, you know, I've, I've got a, I'm a Senor Pepe, S-E-N-O-R space P-E-P-E. -E. Wait, I got a thing for that, don't I? On uh, Steam. So if, if you're actually interested in that stuff, you see the third line there where it says Senor Pepe? That is my Steam account. And, uh, you know, you got to be, like, really willing to play the game, you know? And, and it, that means babysitting an old geezer like me who doesn't have quite the reflexes, you know. I, don't ask me to play Counter-Strike. I just get murdered. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I, I'll do some gaming. Here, Lloyd Christmas, I just want to know what games you were playing, Mike, and you gave me a whole sermon. Uh, da -da -da. Wonderful. I, Dave Rush has put in the next uh, CyberDial Labs info session. It's a link. you got to register, folks, okay? And, uh, and they're going to want a phone number because once you go into that session and you listen to it, they're going to call you and say, would you like to join up, okay? And it's not high-pressure sales. If you don't want to do it, say, no, thank you, and they'll leave you alone. But, uh, you know, we're getting these info sessions. Now we're getting hundreds of people to show up now. And uh, so that, that, that's the price you pay, kids. You have to listen to a phone call. Yeah, well, Andre, if you're, if you're not, if, like I said, this is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It is, uh, if you're a network guy, that's a very different kind of thing. Dave Rush, Vuv and Moe. Once I've drank uh, Vuv, I could never go back to Moe Shandon, man. Tullowit, I would come back to your server in a heartbeat as long as you understand that I don't understand half of what people are saying in these. So, like, guys, when you're playing World of Warcraft, you've got this chat window, right? And they've got these people who are, like, looking for group channel. And it's like, uh... 2 DPS V25 R6500 LOH V+. And I'm like, I don't even know what this means. Yeah, I guess I could find a web page and diagnose it, or I can just go around killing bats, you know? So, total it, I, you know, you got to remind me what server it is. We're still friends on uh, battle.net. I'll look you up. <laughs> Blue Lantern. Hey, Lloyd, want to hear... Oh, no, don't do that, Blue Lantern. World of Tanks, good game. Not going to, you know, the, the problem with most people say with World of Tanks that it's a pay-to-win kind of game, and you're right. And when you start getting, like, level 9 and 10, that's true. But I got to tell you, I played World of Tanks, still have an account. Like, I was playing it back in 2010, and it really is a completely free game. And at the very low levels, like the first five out of the 10 levels, it's a hoot. It's a blast. And it doesn't cost anything. I mean, if you want to spend money, you can. But, uh, you know, grind versus pay kind of thing. But it's not a terrible grind. And uh, it's kind of fun. Tolowit, Dave Rush, have you tried any of the wines from the Texas wineries? Uh, here, Tolowit, I'll answer that question. Yes. And they're, they're crap. Yeah, I'm sorry. Texas, in order to go, grow great wine, you need two things. You need a dry environment, not a desert, but a dry environment. Texas has plenty of dry out west. But you, you also need coolness. It has to be cooler. And Texas is just too far south to go grow good wine, go grow good grapes, which then make good wine. And uh, <coughs> there's a... One called Llano, L-L-A-N-O, that makes an okay Chardonnay, but that's about it. <laughs> Blue Lantern, I love Age of Empires. Uh, I, uh, I have done some map editing in Age of Empires, and uh, it's fun. And uh, 
I also do the 500 population limit too, Blue Lantern. That's hilarious. I do the exact same thing. Uh, I like big populations in the game. Uh, I have Age of Empires 2 with the high def add-ons. And I'll tell you, uh, for a, you, you, need a, you need a video card to handle it. Uh, you, you can bring a computer to its knees. Uh, absolutely can. But yeah, I'm always up for games, guys. Keep keep me in mind. Toll it. I, I will. I don't remember what your server is, but I'll look you up. And uh, if you see somebody running around in there, uh, whose name ends with Alapi, because all mine do, uh, that'll be me. Yeah. Okay, Dave, you're hilarious. What's the server? Something like Buckskin Buccaneers. All right. So, guys, a couple of things. Do remember. Uh, I don't I, uh, keep in mind that we have our 50% discount uh, just because you're nice enough to show up here today, give you half off. Uh, we have uh, our eBooks and we have our practice questions, which we call the total tester, just showing up and you get 50% off. Uh, you should take advantage of that deal. Dave Rush has a link on there for being able to check that out. And uh, especially if you're, you're looking for a good deal on stuff, this is the time to do it. Also keep in mind that CompTIA is going to be raising prices in two days. Um, I still don't have, know how, how much it's going to be, but it'll be a minimum of 5%, probably going to be 10%. It could even be 20% increase. If you're, if you're getting ready to take an exam and you haven't bought a voucher yet, go over to totalsum.com and get a voucher for crying out loud. And you're here, you get at least 5% off. So, uh, take advantage of that. If, if you're still hanging on also keep in mind, uh, we've got a discord server. Uh, I think pretty much most of you folks, I don't, I think we have one of these rare days where it's just all old geezers, um, which is fine. Ron Lama, I don't remember you from before, but uh, so Ron gets the whole speech. Uh, we have a great little Discord server. Please check that out. Uh, Dave Rush has got a link on there. Blood Sale Buccaneers, that's it. Uh, and uh, definitely uh, join our Discord channel, especially when you have, you want to have a two-way conversation. That is the place to go. Uh, and then last, uh, you should join me on LinkedIn. Uh, Dave Rush put a link in there on the uh, chat to uh, at least follow me or uh, connect with me. I don't care, whatever you want to do uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is the place to be, and it's really, really important. Tolowit, Wi-Fi 7 is coming. Uh, yeah, Wi-Fi 8 is coming too. Uh, it's... Uh, these standards get worked on way in the future. Uh, told what I haven't heard anything that's actually happening though. I haven't heard that that's actually taking place. Blue Lantern. <laughs> Gaming makes me want to drink and smoke. Hmm. Mine's not so much drinking and smoking. Mine is Uber Eats. There's nothing better than having a delicious Texas water burger, even better yet, patty melt, with some chicken strips showing up at your door while you're enjoying a game. Uh, so I'm trying to be a little bit better uh, about uh, trying to be a little more careful these days. We're, we're working on it. We're getting there. All right, guys. Well, I guess we got a quiet day today, so I'm going to go ahead and bug out early. Uh, do remember, uh, we're going to, uh, next Wednesday, a week from today, it's going to be at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, so Edgar Salinas will be on. What a great, uh, you, we all know Edgar, he's, he's one of our regulars here, and he's got such a great story that I wanted to, uh, it's the beginning of his story, but he's got a great story, and we're going to have a Zoom meeting with him on board, so hey, everybody gets to see his face, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Please show up if you can. Uh, also, keep in mind, I'm looking for some little mini marketers out there. I've been having a good time right now. But uh, the, the, the Mike Myers AMA needs to get a little shot of love in it. We've never really tried any kind of serious marketing. Uh, I'm going to be asking favors out of you guys and uh, bribing you with, I don't know, we'll come up with some dream date with Mike. And uh, we'll uh, have you guys uh, take advantage of your good natures, uh, at least at first, to help me out a little bit to get the word out. That's really all I'm asking for. You know, do some posts on social media. That's really all I'm asking for. All right. Um, so next week, AMA will be around 2 o'clock. 
Yeah, it'll be two o'clock. Yeah. So Andre, again, Andre, the reason I'm doing this, man, is because I want we get a lot of European folks have been showing up. So I want to get more people from the U.S. in. That's that's the whole re- reason we're doing this. Monday will always be at two o'clock, just for you, my favorite little Belgian. Cool. I uh, told what I did a little bit of reading on Wi-Fi Seven, but you know I've, I've been still trying to get AX to run properly, and uh, so I haven't looked into it. But we should probably check that out too. All right, guys, I'm out the door here. I will see you guys next Monday at two o'clock Central Standard Time, and then Wednesday uh, from here going on forward will be at seven p.m. I reserve the right to change the date for the Wednesday event, so uh, stick with me. I guarantee you the next one will be at 7 p.m. We'll see how it goes, and maybe we'll build from there. All right, guys, I'm out the door. Love you to death. This is your Uncle Mike saying bye-bye. Oh, wait, shoot, guys. A we- contest. No, 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 no. No, Vegas Sprint asked for a contest. I, I, it's, it's not a problem. We can have a contest. All right, folks, here's where we go. We're going to... <laughs> All right, real quick, let's have a contest just for uh, for Vegas Brent because we love him. Um, what question should we do? A plus, since you're A plus, we do an A plus question. Da, 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 da. You guys know most of the time I don't care what acronyms stand for, but sometimes if you understand the acronym, especially on hardware, it can often help in understanding the technology behind something. This is very true on CPUs, okay? So CPUs, uh, early CPUs had little pins, they were DIMMs that you snapped down. Uh, earlier as we got into, uh, you know, like the Pentiums, they had pin grid arrays. Uh, then they went to ball grid arrays. But today there's one type of array that's pretty much standard across Intel and AMD. Somebody write out, don't, don't just, it's, it's three letters, I'll tell you that. And the last two letters are grid array. So, but write it out for me. The first person to write out, what is the super standard type of, a, of array that we have these days? Uh, you have to, uh, Ollie's passing, but you have to write out the first word as well. Come on, Vegas Brand, I'm doing this just for you, my friend. How many people are going on Google right now? I'll give you a, one more clue. Ali did write the, the acronym LGA is correct. But what does that L stand for? Vegas Brent, you got to give me an answer, man. <laughs> Vegas so many people have won, and we got such a small crowd. We're literally, nobody's making it an answer. <laughs> All right. Yay. Okay. Ron, you just worked, wrote the word land. It was land grid array. And I know Ali is passing, but I, I got to give it to Vegas Brent. Hey, Ron, I'm telling you, as you can tell, we had these are really small ones. Vegas Brent, I'm going to give you the win on this one. Uh, Ron, just come back on Wednesday. We'll do it again. Uh, you, you'll, you'll be a winner then. Don't, don't freak out. Anyway, in order to claim your prize, you have to, number one, send an email to DaveR at TotalSim.com. Include in that email your YouTube name, which is Vegas Brent A+. Number two, your email address, even though it's an email, and you have a return email. I still need your email address in the body of the email. And number three, tell us which practice exam you want, Vegas Brent. And uh, this is good for A+, Net+, Security+. Plus. We've got all kinds of stuff. So uh, uh, do enjoy. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate you understanding. And uh, congratulations. Big round of applause to you to Vegas Brent for winning today. All right. Now I'm really out of here, guys. I will see you all next Monday. Have a superior weekend. I know I will. And I will be talking to you all again soon. Until then, this is your Uncle Mikey saying bye-bye. Bye-bye.